All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives and 70 kids so they might learn the truth about Islam. Before we start today, yesterday we heard the news that one of the Abduls of Allah, who he said, I am no one, worship me, uh, attack a Christmas market. And he was shouting Allahu Akbar. Now for sure, after killing a few people, Allah is Akbar. I mean, Allah will not be Akbar unless we kill as many as we can. Obviously, this God is one of the biggest bloodthirsty gods. You see, the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, <clears throat> you Christian believe in religion, which is practice uh, human sacrifice. The fact this is absolutely a big fat lie. You see, when we say that Jesus, he would die for us, first of all, Jesus did not kill himself. Secondly, we did not kill Jesus. Number three, it is him, he said, no one take myself from me, I leave myself voluntarily. Blood sacrifice is you forcing somebody else to die for someone else. And that is what Islam is about. To make the God of Islam happy, you have to go and attack a bunch of people who they are innocent, walking in the street, they have no idea who you are and what you are doing that. And then you shout Allahu Akbar and now Allah is happy and he is sleeping in his bed and he is satisfied like a Dracula. How many mothers got killed in this attack? How many father? What you exactly you did, what you accomplished? Your God now is victor victorious? If you have adopted that Islam is satanic evil religion, then you tell me why Islam happiness is based on the sadness and the misery and the blood and the murder of others. Until now, there is many naive Western, still they believe Islam is not a bad religion, but there is bad people everywhere. My friend, those people are doing what Muhammad told them to do. It is not the opposite. To make it simple for you, there is, yes, there is Muslims who they are not going to do that because they are good people, which means they are Muslims by name. A Muslim by name is the one who will be nice to you, good to you, and he will never harm you. A real Muslim who practices Islam, then he is going to do jihad. And we can prove it. It is the Quran saying to those Muslims, go and kill. It is not anyone. Will take us two seconds to discover that Muhammad he made it clear that he have a duty and his followers have a duty that everybody must die unless he accept him as a prophet and he convert to Islam and not only that after you convert you have to pay zakat you have to pray as he pray. You have to eat as he eat. You have to 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 slaughter as he slaughter, which means even the cheese you eat, it have to be halal. Otherwise, Muhammad will kill you. And as you see, all of this is reference in the front of us. I am not making things up. So those who they say Islam have nothing to do with those terrorists, they are officially idiot. Officially idiot. Who is a Muslim? And who is a Christian? A Christian is someone who follow Jesus, as Jesus said. And a Muslim is someone who follow Muhammad, as Muhammad said. As simple as that. So, when somebody he follow Muhammad, how dare you to say that he is not a Muslim? I've been ordered to fight the people. Which means all the people, all mankind. For sure, with the exception of the Muslims. Till they say, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and if they say so it's not enough yet even if you say so it's not enough and they pray like our prayer not enough even if you pray like our prayer no you have to face and face our Qibla which means in the direction of the Kaaba and that is still not enough you have to slaughter as we slaughter 
then then their blood and the property will be secured from us and here Muhammad he confirmed that he is a criminal is a thief he will not only kill you he will take your money so our prayer with those who die in France and I hope the French people they will wake up and they will understand that Islam should be banned not Muslims Islam itself is the problem you know Muslims are people like us they have family they, they are human they have feeling they get happy they you know they get uh, sad uh, but they are misleaded I don't hate Muslims and I will never hate them even those crimes are happening almost every day but because I understand very well that those Muslims are victims of the hate teaching of Muhammad Jesus says love your enemy so you as a Christian you cannot be a person who hate and yet you are Christian hate is our enemy so I cannot say that I hate Muslims because if I do so I'm stepping away from Christ but I hate for sure violence and I hate whoever promote violence and as you see the source of violence is what we hate it is Muhammad and his filthy teaching so we say to the Muslims we don't hate you my friend even you think by killing us you are going to do a favor to your God and this is exactly what Jesus said time will come and people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God the Messiah spoke about people like you but in the same time at the end of the day we are victorious you see Christians they face discrimination destruction through centuries and centuries and until now nothing changed like today Christians are under discrimination not only by Muslims even by liberals because the Christians they decide to keep their mouth shut and not to be involved in politics and actually there's many Christians teach that we should not go and vote because this is not biblical which is not really true we as a Christian we should go and vote otherwise the voice of terrorists will be heard and when I say terrorist, not necessarily I mean terrorist like this guy who attack and shoot in the street. Terrorist is someone want to silence someone from saying what he believe. In the Middle East, if I speak one word about Islam, I will be silenced forever. That is terrorism. And terrorism practiced there by government. Every government in the Middle East is a terrorist government. And now the European Union are moving toward to be terrorist union. And they are trying to legalize, to criminalize anyone who speak against Islam. So they will join the terrorist organization in the Middle East. But nobody can stop us, no matter what they do. Even if you create one billion law, it says if you attack Islam, if you insult Muhammad, you will go to jail please take me to jail we are a followers of the Messiah we are warrior we are not a bunch of potatoes who enjoy our comfort and exchange it for our Lord my Skype is open all the Muslims are welcome to call me and only Muslims for now please in the beginning always we take Muslims only and there is a reason for that because when we speak to Muslims we show you the other side of the story we are being fair Muslims usually they avoid showing you the other side of the story actually they don't have another side of the story as an example, when a Muslim he debates us about Jesus, 
where you got your story from from the Quran a guy who came 600 years after Jesus he don't even speak Hebrew he never met Jesus he never saw Jesus he don't even know how to say the name Jesus and even he cut the wrong Jesus he called him Isa he cut the wrong Trinity even the Trinity he do not know about the Trinity you see the Muslim today they debate us about the Trinity but they did not ask themselves a question how come their prophet who he claimed to be a prophet he do not know what the Trinity is If you watch any Muslim debate with the Christians, you will see they say that you how you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Okay, so the Muslim now they knew that we believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Where we can find that in the in, in the stupid Quran? Where we can find Allah telling us what the Christian Trinity is. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying something very funny and very weird. In chapter 5, verse 116, which is proven to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. If you could not quote the Trinity of the Christians correctly, so what you can quote for us. And behold, Allah will say, by the way, this is false translation. Why the call Allah who is not we he will say he said Kala in the future. Why the Kala, you know, is not he will stupid translator. And behold, Allah said to Isa, you see here they use the word Jesus, but the fact there's no Jesus in the whole Quran. This is a big fiction, it's not exist. It is Isa. Who is Isa? We challenge any Muslim to tell us who is Isa and what Isa mean. Son of Mary, and by the way, the name of Mary is not exist in the Quran, it's Maryam. Hello, son of Mary. Hello, and by the way, the name of Hello? Mary, yes, please mute, uh, mute YouTube it's so Maryam. we don't hear ourselves twice. Hello, my friend, mute YouTube Hello? so I can hear you. Yes, please mute, uh, mute YouTube so we don't hear ourselves twice. Hello. I'm uh, fine, my friend. Speak to me in English, please. Hello. Speak to us in English. Yes, I hear you. Speak in English, please. Go ahead. Hello. I hear you. Okay, hold on. Maybe there's a problem again with uh, Skype, like yesterday. Maybe Skype switching. All right, hold on. Okay, let me call you back. Look like Skype is switching. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Tarek, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. You hear me? I don't hear you, my friend. Speak louder. Uh, can you speak English, please? Uh, he's saying his English is very weak. Okay. Uh, كيفهم كنا سادك يا أخي العزيز؟ تفضل يا طارق. سكايب لا يعمل بالشكل الصحيح. ما في مشكلة. عفوا عفوا. تفضل. ما زال جدا تقول. alright. Look like he have a difficulty and he don't speak good English. I don't know what you know, and he even lost uh, connection. If there is any Muslim, yeah, 
Uh, we go back to the topic. So as you see here with me, the God of Islam is talking supposedly. And the God of Islam, he claimed that the Christians, they have a trinity, and the trinity is Jesus and Mary and Allah. Did you tell your people to worship me and my mother as gods beside Allah or instead of Allah? So the God of Islam, and by the way, there's no other verse in the Quran speaking about the Trinity with details except this one. You see, the God of Islam, he have time to tell us about Suleiman walking in the valley of the ant, which is a stupid story, have nothing to do with the truth. Suleiman, he hear the ant speech. Suleiman, he check in the birds. He found that Captain Chicken is not there. And he said to himself, if I did not find him and he gave me an excuse, I'm going to slaughter him. I'm going to take his feather one by one, one, blah, 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 blah. All the stupid stories. He have time to speak to all kind of fairy tale stories. But when it's come to Jesus, he gave us a very short sentence. Do you say to your people to worship me and my mother? I mean, there's no Christian worship, Mary. I know some of you might say to you, to us, uh, that the Catholic do. That is a big fat lie. Not a single Catholic. Worship Mary. Don't be a liar. The Muslim, they say to you, don't the Catholic, they pray to Mary. They ask Mary to pray for them. That's what the Catholic do. I ask you to pray for me. The Quran says that Allah said to Muhammad, pray for them. So may Allah forgive them. So why Allah cannot even quote the Trinity correctly? Because simply this is a maid, man-made, who have no idea, who is ignorant about Christianity. He never met real Christians and he do not know what Christianity is about. It's like somebody, he met Jehovah's Witnesses and he thought all oh, the Christians are Jehovah's Witnesses. Muhammad is an ignorant man and even the Muslim, they say that to us, by the way. If you ask any Muslim, they will say to you, Muhammad was illiterate. But illiterate, it does not mean you do not know how to write, how to read. And this is confirmed in the Quran. Actually, I accuse the one who to be illiterate that all the Muslims are illiterate. And not only that, the Quran confirmed that not only Muhammad is illiterate, the Muslims are illiterate. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Chapter 2, verse number 78, chapter 3, verse number 20, chapter 3, verse number 75, chapter 5, verse 116, chapter 5, chapter 7, 157, chapter 7, 158, chapter 62, verse number 2. All confirm one thing, that Muhammad and the Muslims are illiterate. It is he who has, and the funny, you see, the Muslim, they say Allah is not, uh, Allah is one God, but yet Allah, he speak about himself by saying it is he. Well, let me introduce myself. It is he, Christian Prince. Have you ever heard of a silly book like this? It is he who created for you. So listen to this. Hello. You there? Yes, we hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say about the Quran describing the Muslims are illiterate? Um, I wanted to talk about um, the Trinity. I heard you talking about it. Yeah, no problem. Um, we are talking about you, you that. You said that. Yeah. Why? Why you, your God is illiterate? Your God. No, 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 your no. God, Muhammad, no. and the Muslims are illiterate about the Trinity. Go ahead. You, you you always uh, talk about Islam. I think now you you should have the opportunity to present your religion. I am presenting my religion, my the, friend. The truth. Of, you see, uh, you don't tell me how I present my religion. I present my religion by getting Islam, but that's what I do. Yeah, but even uh, if Islam is false, it does not mean that Christianity is false. No, it? I will I will talk I will talk only about my belief only if Islam is over. It's not the mission is not over yet. So now you are calling Sorry. me. My program is to get Islam busted. 
what do you want to say? So, what will happen if Islam is busted, as you say? Then that will make you leave Islam, and then we can explain to you the Trinity, the way you are trying to talk about but, it. But, but let me tell you, even even if I leave Islam, mm. which I, I will never do that, mm. inshallah. Mm -hmm. Even if I leave Islam, mm. I will not accept uh, Christianity because I already have beliefs about Christianity, which tells me that Christianity is false. So mm. if you if you don't, well, you if know, you don't want, okay, if if if, 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 if Christianity is false, then your prophet is false because your prophet he said that those who they are it, Christians and those who they are Jews and those who they are Sabian, they will go to heaven and they have no worry. So how you say look, Christians are false? Your prophet he said the opposite. Is that because he's illiterate? Wait, wait. You, you want me to convert to Christianity? I'm not. I'm is, not. Is, I'm not. Is, listen, is listen, your, listen. Your, I don't change the topic. Only, then change topic. Why your prophet right, say the you, Christians? You, why the Christians and the Jews why, and the Sabi and they will go to heaven? Explain to me. You just said to me that you want me to uh, to convert yes, Christianity. Yes, you know. You see, we are going. Them. We are going. You but said I'm, you, you said I'm you will never you. leave Islam. You said you will never Islam, leave Islam. And you will never accept Christianity because simply you, you, you know you cannot accept that. No problem. Because, so, because so how your prophet accept the Christian? How your prophet accept the Christian to go to heaven? Explain to us. Man, I'm telling you, even if I leave Islam, that will not. This is not the question. Uh, this is not the question. Why your prophet? No, no. Why your prophet? No, you in said, chapter two. In chapter two, he said the Christians and the Jews and the Sabi and they will go to heaven and they have no worry. Why he said that to us? Man, what's wrong with you? Like, what's what's wrong with you, Abdul? What's wrong with you? You are the one who opened the topic. Either you are wrong or you're a prophet no. wrong. You have to admit because you said, I cannot accept the Christianity. So how you're a prophet says the Christian, they will go to heaven. Explain to me the verse in front of me. So you, you want me to leave uh, Islam and that's it? This is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. Be a man and answer. What kind of a prophet? He contradicts himself. <sighs> is your prophet illiterate or he is a fool or he's a madman? How he say that Christians and Jews and so on and they'll go to heaven. Why do you talk as if I have said nothing? You told me just now. You said you, you said you nothing hear... because your Quran said nothing. Listen, listen to me. You listen see, to you me. see, listen to me. you are avoiding, listen, you are avoiding talking. answering a verse in the Quran. No, is is that a problem for you? Are you ashamed no, of it? Are you ashamed of it? I have been. Are you ashamed of you the verse? Me? Are you ashamed of your prophet? Man, man. Why are your prophet man. saying that? Okay, so you admit what's, your prophet is making a mistake. You? Do you admit that your prophet is, 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 is doing stupid things? Do you admit you, your tricks will not uh, work on me? Why you Christian will not friends. go to? Why you won't accept Christianity? Because you will go to hell if you accept Christianity, correct? Wait, wait, wait. Why you will I not accept Christianity? Because if you do, you go to hell. Is that correct? Because I believe Christianity is false. Okay, because so you, so you why you're a prophet? If, if Christianity is false, why you're a prophet saying the Christian they will go to heaven? One of you, <laughs> one of you is a stupid. Either you say I am the stupid, or you say Muhammad is a stupid. You tell me which one of you is the stupid. Christian Prince, we can talk about it. Let's no, we can't talk about. We are talking about it. Why? Why no, no, you say? Why you say Christianity is false, and you're a prophet oh, saying Christians will go to heaven? Okay, so now you want to say the Quran is false and I should leave this. I am okay, not saying what? anything. I'm asking okay. you. I'm not saying no, not. I'm not saying Quran is false. I'm not saying anything. I just say to you, why you say Christianity is false, but your prophet saying the Christians will go to heaven. That means one of you is a liar. Christian Prince, I don't want you to waste your time. You know, I'm not I wasting my time. I'm making hummus now. I am making hummus. You are my hummus. Now answer me. Why your God, so why, you just why your God saying just, the Christians will go to heaven? Much. And you are saying Christianity is false. Which one of you is a liar? You don't care about evangelism, Christian Prince. You see, I am doing it. My, I'm doing it in my way. You, you see, you are a coward. People. You are a coward. You are a guy who is swimming in his panty, and he have a lot of lies there, and he do not know what to do with it. Like your prophet, your prophet, he said that we are the people of a prophet, Allah. He put us under the trial. What is a trial? It's a lies. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of a prophet? Allah trial him by lies. All I, all I hear from you is uh, you don't care about the truth that Christian is it's very clear. Just we are showing the attack, truth. Attack. We are going to you heaven. Don't... You are going to hell. Here we go. It's in the front of you. The Quran yeah, says we Christians, but... we go to heaven. But but the truth in your the truth your, is you cannot answer. You, the truth uh, you cannot answer. Why you don't want to answer? Me, Why your prophet said me. here that the Christians will go to heaven? Why do you ask questions as if I have agreed to your question? Uh, I don't care if you agreed question. or not. You are calling me. You know what I'm talking no, about. And you are the I, one I, who mentioned that Christianity is false. Have. So one of you is a liar. What kind of contradiction we have here? Muslim, they keep saying to us Christianity is false. But they're mm -hmm. a prophet. He said the Christians and the Jews and the Sabians which worship stars. How the Sabians will go to heaven? 
Okay, so you're saying Islam is false. Okay, I'm not saying Islam is false. I'm saying Islam is a stupid. I cannot even say false. It's a stupid okay. religion. Okay. Okay. Oh, you have to be certified. You, to... you have to be a okay. certified donkey okay. to believe in this because one of you is a liar. Okay. So do you think knowing the truth of Christianity is more important than uh, Islam? My friend, my uh, friend, uh, my, my friend. Yes. You, you, listen, you want, listen. Uh, I am showing the truth about Christianity. Here we go. I get you busted from your Quran and you have no answer. <laughs> If I even if I if I I had told you even are you married are you married I feel sorry I for your wife I feel sorry for truthful. your wife if your wife, your, wife, if your wife she asked you to go to the grocery store you will spend 10 hours to discuss about what you buy but you will never buy anything are you going to answer what why your prophet said the Christian will go to heaven or not I've called you and I've said to you for the sake of this argument I will say that imagine that Islam is false now let's I'm not imagining it's your prophet who imagine hold did you say the word imagine did you say the word imagine let me show you who imagine is it true that your prophet no, 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 imagined no. himself Come, no, having no. sex hey, 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 is it hey, true hey, is it a true hey, that your prophet hey, hey, imagined hey, himself hey, having sex but in fact he never did so you are a person who will follow everything believe in imagination here we go we have a prophet of God he is Christian not even friends, sure. Christian he is not even Christian sure friends, that he back. he is come having back. sex or not. Such a, shut up, shut up. Look, listen, the come prophet back. continued for come such back. a such a come period back. of time, imagining that he had sex with his wife, come but in back. fact he did not. What kind of a prophet this come, prophet is? Come back. You are the one who said, "Imagine, I'm coming back. I'm coming back." Here, because Jibril is yeah, coming back. Jibril yeah, is coming yeah, back. Here yeah, we go. Yeah. The flying donkey yeah. is coming. Jibri I'm coming back. I'm coming back. You see the flying donkey? Why it's a you? white donkey, and have wearing the bracelet. The brother, brother, The can't. prophet beat up he him. Can't. He went to the seven heaven he and the top of a flying donkey, and he the flying donkey was white. And the reason the flying donkey is white because this is the only he way can't. the radar of is the American really cannot level? get him butted. So the flying donkey really or the level? prophet, shut up, man. Let let you, really let let let, let the like let the man of the like house call me. Let the man of the house call me. I'm done. Let your mom call me. The man of the house. You see, you Muslims, you call me. You don't dare to speak about the topic. Are you imagining? Let us imagine. Will we have enough imagination? How this man can be a prophet if he is not even sure that his sex, even his sex, he have no witnesses for it. Because when it says he is imagining he had sex, it means there's nobody there. How we can trust him that he saw angels? How we can trust him that he heard God? By the way, even the Muslims agree that Allah never spoke to Muhammad. It's a pizza guy. His name is Jibreel. Jibreel come to Muhammad and he squeezed him three times. Breathe. I cannot read. Read. I cannot read. I told you I cannot read. I told you, you idiot. Read. I told you I cannot read. What's wrong with you? Leave me. Stop touching me. You're a prophet. Even did not say to the angel who is a man, stop touching me. I mean, have you ever heard of a man squeezing a man and the guy, the other guy, he never asked him, who are you? He did not even ask him. Who are you? A man come to me and he says to me, read. The answer will say, I will, I will read what? Shouldn't I say, who are you? What's wrong with you? Why you are squeezing me? Shouldn't Muhammad defend himself? Look like Muhammad, he used to be squeezed by everybody. I believe that in certain time, Muhammad, he was working as a ketchup bottle in McDonald, where everybody squeezed him. If we ask Zakir Naik why the angel he squeezed the prophet, he will say the following. But the tether, the other person, his name is the Christian prince. And he was already he made fun of the prophet Muhammad. And he said, why the angel he squeezed him? I will give you an example. You have somebody he loved you very much. What he would do? He will squeeze you. Thank you, sister. Come squeeze me. Come, come and squeeze me. Yes, I have four wives that squeeze me every day. So the angel, he was squeezing the prophet because he loved him very much. Have you ever heard the song? The angel song is called Squeeze Me, Squeeze Me. It's a cartoon. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? And after three times squeezing Muhammad, what happened to him? He cannot, he imagined his sex is, 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 is happening, but he never have sex. 
This is after the squeezing. I wonder what happened to him before the squeezing. Did you squeeze yourself? Are you confident to speak about your faith? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about my faith. Let, let's talk about God. Let's talk about more important. What God? Stuff. You don't know who's God. Your what God is a black stone. What God? No, no, I, no, no, I no, 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 no. You uh, tell God me if one. you worship God, yeah, why you kiss about... a black stone? If you are a person who is against the Trinity and you are confident about your faith, why well, you kiss why? a black stone? Why, why, why do you run away from the Trinity? I'm not running away. I'm showing you. I'm showing you that you are stupid. You, you are, you are a person who believes the Trinity is wrong, but you kiss a black stone. You are a person who believes the Trinity is wrong, but if we go right now and we see what everything in Islam is based on number three, but you will not wait, talk about wait. it. Let me ask you. Wait. No. Wait, now, now you're throwing accusations. In order, to you, I'm not throwing this. accusation. I'm wait, not wait, throwing wait, accusation. Wait, wait, I am not. Let me make a point. Did your prophet, point. Wait, did your prophet, did your prophet taught you the Trinity? Did your prophet taught you the Trinity or not? Did your prophet so you taught you the Trinity of Islam? Yes or no? Is the Trinity exist in Islam? Yes or no? You want to run away from the Trinity? Right? We are talking about from the Trinity. Here we go. You are a coward. Did your prophet taught you the Trinity in Islam? Yes or no? So you want to run away from the Trinity? You see, I'm talking about it. What's wrong with you? No, you're trying to run away with anything. Yes, have you ever so seen Abdul? You know, have you ever seen Abdul? He have a brain. I'm talking about the Trinity. Did you oh, hear yes, me? Let me repeat again. Did your prophet teach you the Trinity in Islam? Yes or no? I want to talk about math mathematics with you. Mathematics. That's wonderful. Let us yes. talk about mathematics. Yes. Uh, uh, one plus one plus one. What's it equal to? That's wonderful, guys. One, one plus one plus <laughs> one. I will go with you. Here we go. This guy is getting smarter now. One plus one plus one. Let us go to the Quran and see one plus one plus one. And no, we would, no, no, and no, we would no, buy no, nothing. Hold on, everybody. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Here we go. What do you think? It, this is the Quran, Abdul. One plus one plus one. Everybody will laugh at you. Here we go. This is the Quran. It's speaking about the mathematics, which is speaking about the Trinity. And everybody will be laughing at you in a second. The verse in Wait, chapter four. Talk, shut up. Chapter four. Chapter thing. four. Verse one seventy one. Chapter What's four. Chapter four. Verse one seventy one. Look what the Trinity. Look. Look how one plus one plus one make one in Islam. In Islam. <laughs> in Islam, not in Christianity. And the proof in the front of you. Look how donkey you are. You are a certified donkey. Read with me carefully. But, uh, read, 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 can't really read, read with me. Read with me. You can't read all, says, all you do is uh, Just shut up, right? shut up. You will not let me talk. Go ahead. Get lost. One plus one plus one is a mathematics exist only in Islam and the proof in the front of your eyes. And this is why the Muslims they hate me because I get them busted from their books. I don't waste my time. Because the same question he will ask you about the Bible today, he will ask me the same question tomorrow as if I never answer him. They play deaf, they play blind, they play stupid. And the purpose is to distract you from exposing Islam. Oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah but the truth. Hmm. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, here they put no more. This is not exist in the Quran between two brackets. He is a messenger. Okay, hold on. This is what? He is a messenger. And he is his word. The word of who? Of God. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. Spirit proceeding. My friend, don't call me now if you are a, if you are not a Muslim. Only Muslims, they can call me now. Only Abdul. Customers come first. So a messenger and the word and a spirit. Three, but one. How they can be three, but one in the same time? Yes, Abdul. You have spoken over and over why the Quran is false, why Allah is false. Now let, let prove your religion. Mathematics, you mathematics, mathematics in front of you. Isn't it you who asked me for one plus one plus one, how it's equal to one? Christian Prince, I how Jesus, a, a how Jesus, how Jesus is a word, and he oh. is a man, and he is a spirit, and one plus one plus one is equal to one. Explain. I'm listening. <coughs> I want to reason with you, Christian Prince. You cannot reason okay. with me. I hear get, I get I, people I, busted. I don't reason with them. I get them I, busted. I, I, now answer I, me. You I, are the one who chose I, one plus one plus one. How that can be equal to one? And this is the stupid Quran saying that Jesus is a man plus the word plus the spirit. All is Jesus. How that can be? Christian Prince, let's reason together. Are you That's going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? 
I, 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 I want to have a dialogue with you. Are you going to answer or not? Okay. I'm asking you, I'm giving Look, you time to talk. Are you I, going to answer I, or not? I, I am, what I am kind not of a mathematics okay, that you is? Him. How you refuse the Trinity? The same verse is saying the Trinity is true. The same verse saying that Jesus is the word of God, and this is what is confirmed in the Bible. The same verse confirmed that Jesus is a spirit, and this is what's confirmed that God is a spirit, and this is what is confirmed in the Bible. And the same verse confirmed that Jesus was a man. So God the man, God the Father, God the Spirit. Thank you very much. The Trinity in the front of us. It's the stupid Quran no. confirming the Trinity. How you answer? No, so the Islam is false, as you're saying. No, Islam is telling, is telling the truth here. Jesus, Jesus, here, okay. here, here Muhammad is telling the truth. Let's talk about the Muhammad, truth. he got himself let's, busted. You see, you're a prophet. Okay. You're a prophet. He, the truth, yeah. You're a prophet. He took too much hashish. Oh, I already told you. Let's, okay. let's, let's So let's now see. answer. Why your prophet no, saying no. such a mistake? Don't tell me you're Allah. Who is your Allah? What do you okay, mean, so ya Allah? What ya Allah okay, mean? What ya Allah mean? Explain to me. No, no, hold on. What ya Allah mean? Ya Allah mean. I'm not here to talk about. Uh, what does that mean? Let's uh, let's assume that Islam is false. For what do you mean assume? Second. No, we cannot assume. Either you say it is false or you say it is not false. There's nothing assume. No, we want. We have to know what we're gonna do. Yeah, after here that. we go. We have we a verse in front cannot, of us. The verse saying that Jesus is a three but have... one. How this happened? How Jesus is the three and look do you see guys it says a, a spirit proceeding from him which means proceeding from God how Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God we must have an objective for this talk yeah we, the we object, have to know why I, I told you talking. my objective objective is to, to make everybody laugh at the stupidity of Muhammad no, so you don't care about evangelism you don't care I am doing truth. it right now care. I'm doing it in my way you don't teach me how to do it and I'm very successful every yeah, yeah, every yeah, time I, I, I go on air and you are my witness every time I go on air people leave us now so how I can be successful more than this no uh, you might convert more people uh, uh, I am converting don't worry right now as we speak every Muslim he noticed how Muslims are in this ability so they will leave us now by your help now answer me what kind of a prophet he says such a stupid thing that there is no trinity in the same verse says say no trinity the same verse say no trinity in the same verse confirm that the trinity is a true for jesus is a three in one how one plus one plus one is equal to one i want to know this is a question mm -hmm. the muslim keep asking now we find that the muslims are the one should ask this question to themselves what kind of god he teach that one plus one plus one is equal to one which is jesus how jesus is a word and he is a man and he is a spirit in the same time. Explain to us. Christian Prince, mm. uh, let's talk about what we ourselves claim. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to throw attacks and say, Jesus is not a man. How can let's let, let's talk about what we claim. I claim that God is one. You claim prove it, uh, and prove it that your God is one. Prove it that your God is one. What what one mean? One one number, just one just one just one, 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 one potato, one, one tomato. Just what is your one, God? One no, 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 no. Before you one, tell me that your one God person. is one, can you give me definition one for your God? Can you can you give me definition for your God? You don't even know who's your God. The creator. Uh, we can we can talk in there we go, guys. Terms. Did he say the creator? creator? Let his let us get him busted. How he is the creator, <laughs> but yet he say he is the best of the creators. <laughs> How he's you, how, uh, how you say to me that God is the creator if your God Allah himself confirm that there is many creators that Allah made a mistake So I want to talk to you about something else. We're you really just mentioned the creator. Why do I talk about it? Are you ashamed of your prophet and your your God saying doing poo poo? How he say that he is the best of the creators. How many creators in Islam there is? There is a true creator Ah, there's a true and creator. No, you, my friend, when yes. you say he is the best of the creator, it's mean you admit that there's many creators and he is the best. You don't co you don't compare yourself to the fake one because the fake are not creators. So you're a prophet. He confirmed that they no, are the, the best of the creators. It's fun. Hmm? I can say, I can say, um, I can say, uh, I'm a maker. I can make a computers. I can make this. I'm That's false, that. my friend. Let it, me get you busted. Mean, yeah. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. <laughs> the Quran give definition. Who is the creator? The Quran, your Quran, give definition. The Making a computer is not a creation in Islam. Making a creation is creating a life, and this is what divine, you know, given us by the Quran. Unless you, unless you will make fun of the Quran, this is the Quran no, saying. No. Hold on. Oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Blah, 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 you know? Anyways. Uh, hey, okay, hey, so... No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Is it the Quran says that the one who create in, in Islam is only the one who create life or I'm lying? 
true creation, obviously. Yes. True creation. Means, uh, okay, true creation. Who yeah. is the one who took creation? Explain to us. Obviously. Okay, who? We can talk about no, that. No, no, the Quran so, says the one who can create a fly and a buff. The one who can create a fly and a buff. Chapter 22, verse number 73. <laughs> so if you can create a fly and a buff, you are a creator. Do you agree with the Quran or you don't? You're very smart, uh, Christian Prince. My friend, of, don't uh, tell me who I am. I know who I am, you and you are very, very slow. You are very slow, and I'm very smart. Yes. I know that. That's why I'm a Christian, yes. and you are a Muslim. But this is yes, not the okay, question. Let's go but back. this is not the question. Let's go back. Why let's you go are back. saying that the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators, which means Allah has compared Himself to fake creator, which means He's fake too. Because if I compare myself to fake scammers, that's mean I am a scammer too. If I say I am the best of the scammers, that's mean I am a scam too. If I say I am the best of the liars, that's mean I am a liar too. If I say I am the best of the potato, that's mean I am the best of the, I'm a potato too. So you just admitted okay, that yeah, your, your, your your God is a fake God. God. This is stupid of you. You you, you Muslims are very slow, my friend. You are slow. You see, the problem is you bought you bought a computer and stored in your brain made in one million centuries ago. I am a Christian prince, and your God cannot outsmart me. So how you say that Allah is the best of the fake creators? How you say that? Okay, uh, Kirsten Prince. Ac according to your logic, uh, let's let's uh, let's say this: um, God is loving, and Christians must be loving. Therefore, uh, human beings are the same as God because they both loving. Ah, is that your logic, so uh, Kirsten Prince? I, I go by yes. your logic. Is your God Allah yes. is loving? Is your God Allah is loving or not? Yeah, yeah, you tell, okay. me, you tell me. And you so are loving, so, now are loving. so you are Christians God are too. Are you know, God, 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 yes, yes, yes. Just get lost. Let your mother in law call me. She is the man of the house. Who there? Can we find a Muslim he can stand with his words for a second? The Quran says the one who created a fly is God. Jesus created the bird in the Quran. The Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. That means there's many creators. Otherwise, Allah must be a liar comparing himself to creators which are not exist, which means he's a liar. Because when I say I am the best student in the school and then people find out there's no student except me, that means I'm a liar. You can't say I'm the best student unless there's more students the Quran author is an idiot certified idiot and he got his certification every day by my hand how that can be God is talking how that can be God is teaching hello Hello. Yes. Uh, it's Christian Prince. With you. You are live on air. Yeah. So uh, I am asking about. Um, uh, I have many Christian um, uh, friends who ask me that. Say to me that uh, the uh, the Holy Bible uh, is corrupted. And so I I want I want to uh, ask you about uh, um, is the holy test is the New Testament being corrupted like um, so yeah okay I got your uh, question let me answer you and you can listen to me in YouTube please mm -hmm. all right thank you okay. you see when a Muslim he says to you that the Bible is corrupt guess what he just get his God busted. Because according to Islam, the Injil is what Allah He sent to Isa. And that means that the God of Islam, his book is corrupt. So what's my problem? What is my problem? If you're a stupid God, he sent a book and he could not protect his book, go and sue his ass. If this is the book of Allah, and then you say to me, the book of Allah is corrupt. So what's my problem? I want you Muslims to trace and chase Allah. 
and when you see him in the street spray him with paint says to him corrupt 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 because he sent books but he cannot protect what's my problem any Muslim dare to call me and tell me why his God cannot protect his book you think the Muslim they think this is accusation against Christianity but the second they do that they accuse their God to be stupid God I know that usually Christian they spend their day trying to prove to Muslims that the Bible is not corrupt my friend don't be stupid he is not even talking about your Bible he's talking about his Bible we as a Christian we don't believe that the Injil is sent down from Allah anyway so a Muslim is speaking about the Injil which sent from Allah is corrupt what's your problem are we listening Christians are we learning do you know why Muslims do not dare to debate me? Do you notice? They cannot. I will torture Allah as if he is a French fries. We have no place for stupidity here. It is Allah who sent the Torah, it's Allah who sent the gospel, and now you are asking me why the gospel of Allah is corrupt? Well, this is additional proof that Allah cannot be God. What do you want, Mimi? Yes, I notice you're very strong. That's why uh, I'm not going to dare debate No, my friend, I, I'm not strong because I did not drink the camel urine yet. Did you drink camel urine today? Oh uh, yeah, I know this. You are. You're did you drink camel urine? Strong. Did you drink camel urine today or not yet? Uh, don't be silly, Prince. What, what, uh, uh, guys, did he say silly? I, I, so I are you saying wanna... that the one who drink camel urine is a silly? Does that mean your prophet was silly? I, I don't know. I do not want to uh, debate you. Why you are making fun of your prophet? Not showing respect. You just say that the one who drink camel urine is silly. Why your prophet? Then he ordered you to drink camel urine. Um, I, I I do not want to debate you. I want to be taught. I'm not you. debating you, my Anything friend. I'm not debating you. I'm learning from you. What kind of prophet he ordered no, you to no, drink? I, I, I do not teach. I, you're the teacher. I'm the student. I am not teaching you. I'm asking a question. I'm very. It's yes. a it's a very honest yeah, question, I, my I friend. Teach. I don't it's a very know. honest you're question. I have. I want to learn. All my life, I want to learn. What kind of a prophet uh -huh. he forbid wine, but he ordered you to drink piss? I um, I I want to be taught by you, especially uh, in terms of. Um, these the trinity one plus one plus one can you teach me that well please? i just taught you i got you busted the quran says that jesus is one plus one plus I, one I, equal look, to one I, I, I'm and telling you. as long you are not going to answer it sorry you know I, you, you have a problem you are running away from the trinity not me i just got you busted the quran says that man you don't understand in christianity we don't have one plus one plus one it says quran says that so how is stupid your quran in mathematics is Hmm. Look, I, I want to see if I am going to be a Christian. If I, leave I don't want you to be a Christian. If you oh, became a Christian, oh, oh. I will laugh at who? Oh, so you don't care, really? No, I don't yeah. care. Why I will care? You want to go to hell? Go to hell. This is your business. For my for my job is to tell the <laughs> truth. You go to hell. No, you look, go to heaven. This is your choice. This is my my friend. But, you are a person who likes to drink camel urine over wine, and obviously you have a mental issue. So I cannot really fix that. Ask God to fix that. I'm asking you what kind of God he says that Jesus is a three in one but obviously you think it is better for obviously me. you are a donkey sorry Ooh. by the way talking about donkeys let me show you what your God said about donkeys have you ever heard of a God he says that he created the mule really how that happened the God of Islam he claimed that there is something an animal called the mule and he created him which is absolutely funny and it is he has created horses and mules and donkeys really i mean this is super super smart man as i know that a mule is a creature after a donkey he signed in a dating website. He have one night to stand with the horse, and then they have a baby. His name is a mule. The mule is not created by Allah. The horse can be, the donkey can be, if Allah is a true God, but the mule is not.
Who is the mule here? Don't call me mule. Don't call me. Let somebody else is smart to call me. Come on. We have enough mule for today. I have created for you the horses, the mule, and the donkeys. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. Where's the camel? What happened? The camel was dropped. Mm -hmm. In South America, they use uh, what, what what that animal they call it. They call it guys in South America. They use it like a donkey. What they call it? I forgot the name. He sounded cute and funny. Llama. Well, what they call it in South America? Llama. Yeah, I used to have a I used to have a gun. It's called Llama. The brand Llama. It was big, huge. You know, I did not like it because I mean, how you can carry all those guns with you? And since then, Allah is not getting close to me because I shoot by my words. By the way, we have a God, and He have angels, and those angels do not enter a house if there is a puppy. Mm -hmm. The God of Islam is so afraid of a puppy. Oh, 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 oh. Muhammad, he stopped receiving messages from Allah. And Muhammad did not know what's happening. And later they discover that there is a dead dog under the bed of the Prophet. Hold on, hold on. How a dead dog is dead and Muhammad did not even notice the smell? If a rat die in your house your house will stink how muhammad did not notice And what kind of an angel he will not enter a house if there is a dog in the house, regardless if it's dead or alive? What is his weakness? Hold on. As long as the angels cannot enter a house, it has a dog. That means the angel of death cannot enter my house to take my soul. I'm going to order a dog right now. And this way I can live forever. And wherever I go, I take my dog with me. How silly, how stupid that teaching is. Any Muslim would like to call? Anyone? Only, only Muslims can call me, please. Don't call me if you are a Christian, unless I say so. All right. No Christian. Only Muslims. When I say Christians can call, then you can call me, please. Any Muslim? Now don't call me kid. You are the only kid here between the Muslims. I want a man to call me. A Muslim man. There's no men left. Where is the Muslim man? Yeah, you can call me later when I say Christians can call, please. As you see, guys, Islam is very easy to destroy. It is a very stupid cult. The problem is that you Christians, you involve in debate with Muslims, but you have no idea what Islam is about. This is why people like, uh, you know, Didat or... Uh, 
uh, whoever, you know, they used to fight over debating Christians who know nothing about Islam because it's one way debate. The Muslim will ask you a question about your belief, but you do not know how to ask him any question about his belief because you do not know what his belief is. It was a very naive behavior of the Christians. And the Muslims, they take advantage of your kindness. Actually, I just saw somebody, he says to me in Skype, he don't agree with the way I do my uh, teaching. I mean, as if I care. Let us see how you can do better. Let us see how many Muslims you made them leave Islam and accept Jesus. I'm a very successful fisherman, but yet I don't agree with me. Hmm. Interesting. You see, Christians, they learned that to be a Christian is to be kind, and they thought that kind is about giving hugs. Well, this is false, and this is have nothing to do with the Christianity. In case you do not know, Jesus, he flipped tables. In case you do not know, Jesus, he said to the false Jews, your father, your father is a snake, a viper. They always try to teach you their own point of view of a Christ. Yes, Christ, he said, love your enemy. But he did not say, be hypocrite, your enemy. Because if you cannot shout and say the truth in the face of the enemy to save them, that's mean you are doing taqiyya. You are a hypocrite, you are a liar. If you don't think that saying to a Muslim that Muhammad is a false prophet is the right way to do it, that's mean you have no and nothing to do with Jesus. And if you don't agree with me, don't listen to me. I wish you the best. Do better. Right? My friend, a Christian who don't, and he is not willing to say the truth as it is, he is a fake Christian. A Christian who is politically correct, he is not Christian. Either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay, as the Bible said. Anything else is from the devil. You go to a church minister, he said to him, what do you think about Muhammad? He starts saying, well, Muhammad is like Abrahamic. Uh, Abrahamic? Are you sure? This is a minister of God or this is a minister of the devil? What made Muhammad Abrahamic for you? Oh, in the religion, they say that they believe Abraham was a prophet. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses, they believe in Abraham as a prophet. Are they Abrahamic for you? Oh, no, no. Okay, Mormon, they say they believe in Abraham. Are they Abrahamic for you? Oh, no, no, no. So how come when those people, they say and believe in Abraham, you don't call them Abrahamic, but when the Muhammad and the Muslim, they say we believe in Abraham, you call them Abrahamic. Do you notice, guys, the hypocrisy? Abrahamic is the one they like him to be Abrahamic when they want when they don't want they make that person not Abrahamic They are doing a safe business, you know if you speak against Islam, it's a risky business Speaking against Jehovah's Witnesses is safe <laughs> Why you are calling me, kid? Why? Why you are calling me, Mimi? Just to have a question. You have a question? Are you calling me? You have a question. 
Are you sure? Wait, but, let, 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 hold on, hold. let me let, let me let me I'm be sure. Are first. you sure? No, no. Before you say the question, are you sure from your no, question? Before no, you say, before you before say, you, I wanna you because ask, I want you to you promise ask, me. Are you? I want you, you to ask, promise me. If you ask me a question, you, you will not change the topic. Huh? Yes. If if I. Uh, I want uh, you to be uh, sure. If you ask me the question, you will not change the topic. Do you promise me? Yes. Go ahead. It's it's about um, you know the concept of God and things like that. Mm. This is very important to the me. The concept of God. What is the concept of God? Wait. Um, first, my question is. What is the concept of God? Before we talk about the question, you need to tell me your definition of the concept of God. It's very simple. This one. What does that mean? And you, one, my my, yeah. my I have a one finger in my hand. Is that God? Tell me what is the concept of God. The, the the creator of the heavens and the earth. I asked God. you. The Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. So how that can be the yes, concept of God? Look, if look, Jesus Himself look, in the Quran look, is a creator, how that can be the concept look. of God? You Muslims are confused. What is the concept of God according to Islam? Show me proof. Show me reference that there is only one creator mm -hmm. in Islam. Wait before you go to the Bible. Before the, before I'm you go not to going the Quran, anywhere. Let, I'm saying to see. you, as long the Creator is the let's concept talk, of God. You said to me that one, and you said to me the word the Creator. This is what I got from you. Show me how Wait. Allah can be one, and yet He is one of many creators. Hmm. I am not talking about Allah. I'm not talking about. You Yahweh. are talking, talking about the Creator. Forget about stuff. Allah. Forget about Wait. Allah. How God can be creators? Wait, wait, Christian Prince. Mm. I, I, I do not want to talk about the Bible, the Quran, this. Get lost. No time for kids. Don't call me. I told you, let your mother in law call me. Don't force me to block you. If you cannot be consistent with your question, then shut up. You are not brave enough to hold in your question in the same word you just said to me Allah is one but Allah is a creator there's many creators in Islam Allah is one who cares if he's one or ten the question is can Allah can be God or not a God who says women have a sperm coming from their ribs obviously he is an idiot of the village let us say that there is somebody believe that there's a million God but they are exist that does not make him wrong and you believe there is one God there's a church in in San Francisco it's called the Church of Satan and they believe that Satan is the only true God so who care if he's one or not stupid concept stupid understanding stupid logic you people are drunk and you are taking too much hashish are you going to be consistent with your question or you will play games no, I will not play games. I will ask my question. Mm. Are you calling people to worship a God who came out of a woman's vagina? Mm, that's, that's a good question. question. That's a good question, yeah. guys. Are you asking people to worship God who came from a vagina? So how your stupid Quran say that Jesus but is I'm holy? You, hold I'm on, hold on. I'm, I'm answer answering you. I'm answering you. I'm answering you. Shut up. How the Quran Thank says you. that Jesus is holy in chapter 19, verse 19 in the Quran. So I, are you telling me to I am answering you what kind of a stupid God he think that Jesus is holy yet he is born of a vagina are you saying your God is a stupid you're on, you're insulting me and I am not uh, insulting I am saying to you this is the this is the Quran saying that uh, Allah he sought he said to to Mary <coughs> I am going to give you a gift of a holy son how Jesus can be a holy son yet he is born of a vagina based on your logic answer me please I am pretty sure that you find my question very offensive. Is your you see your it's, it is you who is offending yourself, not me? Yes. I answered you. I did not hang I'm, up I'm not on you. I'm answering you. you. How Jesus is born of a vagina, but yet your stupid God, he called him Holy Son. Explain to me. It's very clear that you you're very. Offended it's very clear you. that your Allah is you're a stupid based on your logic because the one no, who is born confident. of a vagina. Hold on, the one who is born well, of a you, vagina, based both on you, cannot be holy. He cannot be God. So how he is the Holy Son? But yet he is born of a vagina. Explain to me. I'm listening. Christian Prince, I am not uh, insulting you. You're insulting me. I don't me care. Now. You insult me. No, no. This is not the question. Insult me. No, no. I want you to answer how somebody is born of a vagina. He's holy. Mm. You just told me now that. Uh, I just told you now that you are a donkey that. and don't call me again or I will block you. Wait. What? God, get lost. Mm -hmm. You are not going to answer. 
you are dipping you are digging down in the ground for yourself how jesus can be god he is born of a vagina well if god can be dirty because being touched by a vagina that cannot make him god when the sun goes in a dirty water who is going to get dirty the sun or the water will be clean when the sunlight go in the swamp which filled with bacteria and dirt and garbage and stinky water still the sun will stay clean and the sun will make what is dirty clean the holy god nothing can make him unholy but because you have a very poor stupid understanding of what god is you think that god cannot be god if he is exist in a location which is unholy that is a stupid to say that means god is can be affected that god that's mean that god can get dirty that's mean god is not holy this is how stupid the muslims are their logic of stupidity is outstanding You Muslims, you call your prophet holy prophet. But guess what? Muhammad, he washed himself with the blood of the vagina. Is that true or I'm lying? If we go in the hadith, we find the following. Holy Prophet, right? You're a prophet, he have a hobby. And his hobby is to do shower with dead dogs and women of blood rags and garbage. But yet you Muslims, you call him the Holy Prophet. Is that a true? Hey, Muhammad, what are you doing? Uh, I'm taking a shower, a uh, uh, prophet, but don't you see there's dead dogs and women rags from blood from period there? Oh, those rags, I use them as a syringe, brother. Look, 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 look. Here we go. I'm going to use it as a syringe to clean my skin, but the blood is coming from them, brother. You cannot do that. Who said he cannot do that? Who, who said that? The water is always pure and nothing make it impure. This is God, and this is a prophet. And who is holy? Do you dare to say as a Muslim that Muhammad was a stinky prophet at this moment? Sure not. But because you are a hypocrite. Hmm? No, no, my friend, trust me, they leave Islam sooner or later. In the beginning, they defend, they defend, they defend. You know, you know what the word upset me? Who knows what the word upset me? You see, English is not my first language, but I learned. An English teacher, he taught me what uh, the word upset is coming from. He said, when the cowboy, they do the horse, uh, you know, they, they ride him first time. He go up when they set. The horse, he go up, he jump when they set on him. So they call him upset. They call that upset. Let us do upset, which means we jump up, we sit on the hearth and the horse, and then he go up, he go crazy. This is exactly what happened to them. I do the upset every day. But after that, there will be very nice horses. I am Christian Prince, my friend, and your God is no match to me. And by the way, if you analyze this story in front of us, you will notice that Muhammad obviously is suffering from mental illness. Even the Arab who Arab who live in the desert, they never do that. 
Look, they said to him, Oh Prophet, oh, oh Messenger of Allah, are you doing that? How you do that? How in the world you do that? You ask Zach and Naik why your prophet is doing that, he will say to you, they are the person, his name is the Christian prince. He always tried to make fun of the prophet, beat up him. Other example, the prophet was taking a sour in a very pure water. But in that water, there's the problem. And the problem, there are dead dogs. In the top of that, there are the women menstruating from blood. In the top of that, there is garbage. I do know I'm a doctor, and based on science, water is only pure and nothing make it impure. So in your understanding of a human, you think that the water is impure, but the fact it's only pure. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm really convinced. I'm truly, truly convinced. You tell me what kind of a prophet this prophet is, What's, what he's suffering from. He could not find the water in the whole town except this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. And if you like to learn more about Islam, I advise you to get my books from Amazon.com, which is a treasure of information. By the way, there's a guy uh, who uh, supposed to the Muslim they have an interview with him and he said he found a mistake in my book in one of my books Ha! Huh, you found a mistake of one of my books that means the rest of my book is true what a disaster I mean what a horrible interview you found a mistake so the rest is true <laughs> I mean <laughs> they have a lack of intelligence once I entered into uh, Islamic chat room and you know the Muslim when they see me entering any place they go in chaos they go in panic not picnic so the Muslim chat room was like snoring and suddenly they saw my name Entering the chat room, suddenly the room is started booming like crazy. Christian Prince is here, Christian Prince is here, and everybody became an admin. An admin means somebody can bounce and control and kick you out of the room. The whole room became red. Like, what happened? Even those who do not know who is Chris Christian Prince. So then they said to me, Hey, Christian Prince, come, come to the mic, come, come if you are a man, come. So I took the mic and I start saying. The Prophet of Allah, he never raped any women. All the Muslims in the chat, they were saying, liar, liar. The Prophet of Allah, he never had sex with the children. Liar, liar. The Prophet of Allah, he never steal and he was accused by, by, by stealing underwear. Liar, liar. So anything I say, which I'm saying supposedly something good, the Muslim, they say to me, liar. So the owner of the room, he got that red dot to the whole room and he starts screaming at them. He said, you stupid, he beat us in, even in our chat room. He was saying to you, the prophet was a decent man. You said to him, liar. He said he did not kill. You said to him, liar. He said he did not steal. You said to him, liar. Are you stupid or what? And this is the point. I made them say, liar. In the heart. Of their uh, headquarter. Because in their head. That this guy whatever he say. He's going to attack the prophet. So whatever he say. He say him to liar. Okay. This is Christian prince. Anything he say. Say to him liar. They made articles. How to debate a Christian prince. The article saying. I wish I can find it. I look for it. I could not find it again. If a Christian prince said to you the prophet is good, don't say yes, don't say no, because he will trap you. If he asks you any question, don't ever say yes, don't agree, don't disagree. 
because there is something out to come. And we look at the terror. How we can debate then? Don't say yes, don't say no. And this is exactly what you see with this guy. Don't say yes, don't say no. For whatever you say, he is going to get you busted. And this is why all those who claim to be scholars, debating Christians, they don't even dare to get close to me. Shabir Ali, after the ABN TV, they organized a debate between us. The guy, he bought my book, and then he sent an email saying, I apologize, I cannot do it because I'm busy with my PhD. And since that time, he is busy with his PhD. But he have a lot of time to debate David Wood over and over and over. Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? May they, may they. Any Muslim would like to give us a call? Any one? Any two? By the way, I don't mind. I mean, for me, I like to convert to Islam. As an example, Allah, He gave us a lot of the true promises. As an example, let me show you, my friend. Let me try to convert the Christians here to Islam. I will seduce you. I will tempt you. Hmm. Look what Allah will give you in heaven if you guys, if you convert to Islam. Temptation, temptation time. If, 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 look at this. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. Yes. I have uh, forgot to ask you another question. Mm -hmm. It is about the Quran. It is right. Uh, it is right. The Quran was written by um, Waraka bin Nufar and Raha Buhaira. Mm. So I get that from many Christians who mm. said uh, uh, it's written by Nasturi and Mariamid uh, Christians, the mm. Quran. Mm. Well, so, I will answer you after we finish this topic here. Mm, no problem. Yalla, okay. Thank you. Man. And don't say Yalla. You are a Christian, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you live in the Middle East, you learn to speak like the Muslims. Uh, guys, when you go to the heaven of Allah, Allah will give us a lot of amazing things. Look what He will give us. First of all, when you enter, To the heaven, Allah will provide us with two springs of water. If, 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 man, what is that? Those two springs of water, when you drink from them, one will make you tall, 30 meter tall. And the other one will make you what? Who remember? Who remember, guys? Two spring of water. One will make you tall and will make you 33 years old and will make you look like Prophet Joseph, supposedly. And the second one will make you white. If, 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 all my life I wanted to be white. Allahu Akbar, I wanted to be white. My friend, I want to be the opposite. I like to be black. What's the problem now? Why, my, why Allah will make me white? Yeah, because in Islam you are not allowed to enter heaven if you are black. Can you believe it? Hold on, hold on. Facebook, they send me a message. Let me show it to you. Just to show you the stupidity of Facebook. Let me grab it for you. You want to see, guys? You will not believe it. Oh boy. Yeah, here we go. Let me put it for you on the screen so you can see with me. All right. Check it out. Your post goes against our community standard 
on hate speech. Hate speech? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I was the one proving the Muslims wrong about hating black people. I am the one who is accused by hate speech. I posted this hadith. It says that Allah Messenger said that the black dog is the devil. A Muslim said, and this is his post. His name is his name is Abdullah Abbas. He said uh, he 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 quoted the hadith again, and then he said to me. And by the way, have you ever seen a white devil? <laughs> what a racist cult. And the stupid Facebook saying to me, this is goes against our hate speech. Like uh, it is him who is teaching hate, not me. I am saying to him, here we go. This is what I said to him. A Muslim said, have you ever seen a white devil? I said, have you ever seen a black devil? <laughs> and why black dog are the devil? What a stupid cult. What a racist cult. To consider animals to be killed just because they are black, obviously you have something against the black. Why this dog will be killed just because he's a black dog? Angel have to be white. The black stone, which the Muslims they kiss, they believe that the black stone was white like milk. Yes, but the sin of mankind made it black. You believe it? Because one of you, you might uh, ask, well, if the Muslims they believe that you know black color is bad, uh, then how they kiss the black stone? The Muslim, they don't kiss it because it's a black. They kiss it because the black stone was white and the sin of mankind made it black, which means they believe that because the black stone will suck your sin, is going to take your black color from you. You are blackened already. Are you getting the point? It is you who is blacked already by your sin, like you are getting black and more and more. The more you do sin, according to Islam, you are getting blacked. But the black stone will take that black from you. It's like a cleaning stone. Let's see if we can find you the hadith. Let us see. All right. All right. Man, sometimes it's easy to find the hate right away, and sometimes it takes time, but it's okay, we will find it, we will find it, no problem.
It is, this uh, search engine here is not good, really. Okay. Hmm. Let us try this. Here we go. The Messenger of Allah said, the black stone descended from paradise and it was more white than the milk. Then it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam. Do you see it? Which means that Islam teaching us that the more you commit sin, the more you get darker in color. Actually, Muhammad, he made it clear in different location. He said, let's try to get the reference. Okay. Um... A second, a second. All right. Hmm. Here we go. And by the way, uh, you know, one of you who remind me about this hadith, which I, you know, uh, it's really, it's really very good hadith to uh, to mention to prove the racism of this cult. Allah Messenger said, "Allah created Adam when He created, when He had to create him, and He struck him." You know what? Let me take an image a shot because this website keeps jumping. I think it have a script, so it keep moving left and right. Give me a second. You cannot even read it. It keep jumping. All right, selfie, selfie. All right. Let us open it. That's better. Now we will not have it jump in like crazy. No. Narrated by Allah, uh, Abu Abu Darad, that Allah Messenger said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder. And they are emitted from his from it white of spring, as if they were white ants. He struck his left shoulder, and they are emitted from from it black of spring, as if they were charcoal. Then he then said to those who they are emitted from the right shoulder, which means the white, for paradise, and I don't mind. Actually, in Arabic it says. I don't care. Wala ubali. And then he said to those who they are being emitted from the left shoulder, which means the black, they are for hell, and I don't care. What is more, you need to prove that Islam is a very racist cult. You see, the Muslim they try, <clears throat> like I, I saw a video, somebody sent me that the uh, uh, hijab and his nurse, they went to Ghana, they are invited by the Muslims there, they thought like those guys, they can convert Christians to Islam. They went to Africa, are you willing to read to the African this? 
Are you willing to read to the African that the Quran says that in the, in the judgment day Allah will make people black and white? All the bad ones, Allah will make them black. Everybody in the judgment day, Allah will make him either black or white. And by the way, not to forget to mention that Allah will put a flag in your buttocks. You will be like a Mercedes Benz of an embassy. Have you ever heard of somebody putting a flag in his buttocks? He asked the Muslims, why Allah will do that? He said, to recognize you. Everybody, Allah will insert a flag in his buttocks. So Zakir Naik will walk in the heaven of Allah before he enter heaven, sorry, and he have a he have a flag in his buttocks. Which is very good. I mean, I like to see that. Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Now, what what the question this gentleman he called me to to talk about? The the Arab Christian. I forgot, man. I'm getting old. What he asked me to talk about? Man, see what happened to you. <clears throat> Somebody remind me what the question was. Who wrote the Quran? Hmm. Yeah, it's about Warak ibn Nawfal. You are right. Okay, hold on. Well, we can prove that easy that Warak ibn Nawfal is the author of Islam. If you go in the Hadith. You will find the following. You remember the hadith where it says that when Waraka he died, Muhammad he tried to commit suicide many times. Read careful with me. The first time Muhammad he encountered what he called an angel, who is the one who told him that this is an angel? And he came to you, and his name is Jibreel. It was Waraka bin Nawfal. The story in the front of us, this is Sahih al Bukhari. All right. And this is the story in front of us, which is a very funny story. Then Khadija, when he came back, Muhammad, he was snoring, he was going crazy, he was panic. Uh, he was saying, What's wrong with me? Cover me, cover me. Even the Quran speak about it. Then she took him to a man, his name is Waraka ibn Nawfal. If you have my book, I have all the reference to prove that Waraka ibn Nawfal must be the father of Muhammad, the true father of Muhammad. You read here how Muhammad came to Khadija, says to her, cover me, cover me, and they covered him, until etc. And obviously Muhammad is suffering from what is called epilepsy. He hear voices, he imagine things, and this is confirmed in other hadith. So they cover him, and he was in fear. In very ter terrible fear, and then he said to Khadija, "What's wrong with me? Okay, what do you mean? What's wrong with you? Ask Christian Prince Muhammad." He said to Khadija, "What's wrong with me?" So Muhammad noticed that he there is something wrong with him. I agree, and then he said, "I fear that something ha may happen to me." <laughs> Question why a person he just saw an angel and Even the angel is not just a normal man supposed to he appeared to him as a man Why he is saying this and why I fear something happened to me and what happened to me? What, what why this guy is in a, in, a, in a stage of panic and confusion to the point you do not know what's happening to him Then the story continue And suddenly you will find that the name of Waraq ibn Nawfal appear Look what happened. Khadija then accompanied him as if he is a child, which means Muhammad obviously he was in a stage, he cannot even walk along, to her cousin, Waraka ibn Nawfal. And here we notice that means this is the marriage of Muhammad 
to Khadija involved with Waraka because Waraka is connected to Khadija. Waraka ibn Nufal ibn Asad ibn Abdul Uzza, which means he is he was a pagan. Here we go. He is the son of Abdul Uzza. And he is from Qusay, which means he is from the same family at the end of the day of Muhammad. Waraka was the son of her paternal uncle, i.e., her father brother, who during the pre Islamic period became Nasara, not Christian. You see here, the Muslim, they use the word Christian translation. The word Nasara are not Christians. If you go and ask any Arab Christian in the Middle East, ask him, Who are you? He say Masihi. Nobody says Nasara, for we are not Nasara. Nasara is a is a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. So he became Nasara, and it says here, and he used to write the Arabic writing, and he used to write the gospel in Arabic as much as Allah wished him to write, and that is the Quran. He was an old man. And he lost his eyesight. And here the story, Khadija, she said to him, blah, 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 this is what happened. And look what he said to him. Suddenly the guy, he became expert. Oh, this is Jibril, the one who came to you the same as the Namos. Who is the Namos? I.e. Jibril and the angel who keep the secrets. Hmm? How this guy knows? The guy who met the angel, the, wife, the one who was squeezed by the angel, the angel did not tell him, I am Jibril. The guy who never met the angel, he never saw the angel, he never spoke to an angel, he noticed right away that this is, must be Jabril. And then the story continues. And how we can prove that Muhammad is badly copying from Waraka? Look what happened to Muhammad. After that, we noticed that Waraka, he died. Waraka, he died. But after a few days, Waraka died. And the divine inspiration was also posed. For a while. Why? Waraka died, uh, there's no more Quran coming. Why? What happened? And the Prophet becomes so sad. Okay, the Prophet why became so sad because the divine stopped or because of Waraka? We will find out soon. As we have heard that he, between Muhammad, intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Gabriel, by the way, in, the, in, the, in Islam there's no, nothing called Gabriel, it's called Jibril, which, which a name is wrong from the Hebrew. There's nothing called Jibril. Gabriel, would appear before him and say, Oh, Muhammad, you are indeed Allah Messenger. In truth. Whereupon that, his heart will become quiet and he will relax. Okay. Okay. And we would calm down and he'd go home. What does that mean? That means Muhammad himself, he don't believe that he's a prophet of God. And that's mean that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness because even if you are not a prophet of God, why you want to kill yourself? Any Muslim can tell us why? Okay, I am not a prophet of God. Should I kill myself now? Should we kill all of ourselves, all of us? Because I'm not a prophet of God and you are not a prophet of God? What is the connection between Muhammad trying many times? It says here many times, several times, as you see, several times he intended. To throw himself from the top of the high mountain and that's mean this guy is suffering from mental illness obviously several times he tried to do that why you can go right now and read any article about the reason for committing suicide reason for committing suicide we are we are talking about a person who is chosen by god <clears throat> The Muslim, they say to you that you Christian believe in God who committed suicide. That's stupid and that's a lie. Jesus knowing about what they will do and he didn't run away. That's not committing suicide. Muhammad here is going willingly, walking his feet, climbing the mountain, 
trying to jump from the top of the mountain and trying to commit suicide. Why? Because Warak of the Nofal, he died, and there's no more inspiration. And then Muhammad, he got the idea. Oh, I forgot. Warak, he used, or maybe Khadija told him, oh, you forgot that Warak he used to translate? So he have Quran. What he used to give you from, he have it there, the book, let us go and get the book. So Muhammad, he got the book of Waraka and he start again continuing his mission. But then after that, what is written by Waraka is not enough. And then Muhammad started doing his pupu. This is why you will find in the Quran, very good language in some places and a very horrible, stupid Arabic in many places. The good Arabic is written by Waraka and there's no question about that. The bad Arabic is the fabrication of Muhammad. Any Muslim have a comment? Anyone? As an example, like in the Quran, he says, What does that mean? That's the most stupid Arabic ever. Do we have any Muslim here? Same time, if you go and read the Quran, the open the Quran in Arabic, those who speak Arabic, like the person who called me, uh, you know Arabic. You open the Quran in page number A, which is at the end of the Quran, you will find that it says that this Quran is written according to, 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 come tomorrow, according to, according to, according to. That's mean the Muslim never have a Quran. What they have is a recitation. They don't have a book. Because it says they are according to the recitation of. If we have a book, we will not say according to the recitation. We will say according to the writing. The last recitation they have is recitation of Hafs. Hafs accused to be a fraud even by Muslims. His father, Asim, is where he learned the Quran from. Asim too is accused to be a fraud. Muhammad himself, he says, Take the Quran from five people. Take the Quran from five people. But the Muslim did not take the Quran from any of them. Some some hadith says uh, four, you know, but it doesn't matter really if it is four or five. It doesn't matter. Why Muhammad, he says, take the Quran from four, and he named the four. Muhammad is trying to be the same as Jesus. Jesus, he have four disciples and four Gospels. So he said to his followers, take the Quran from four. Do we see it? Muhammad is trying to copy exactly what the Christians are about. Take it from four. And then we check the names. We find that the Muslim did not take the Quran from those names. Did the Muslims even accept the Quran of Nabi Mas'ud? Here we go. His name is here, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. The Muslim re refused the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us?
No, I don't speak Indonesian, my friend. I wish I, I wish I speak all languages. Otherwise, I would be if I speak all languages, I would be the biggest disaster happen ever to Islam. Tawheed. Okay, no problem. Tawheed. You see, the Muslim they keep saying to you Tawheed, Tawheed. We cannot find the word Tawheed in the Quran, by the way. And we cannot find the word Tawheed even in the Hadith. However, the Muslims always they quote for us this verse. All the verses in the front of us, they use the same word Ahad. But the verse the Muslims always they quote for us. Look how many verses. Look, all of those verses, all those verses. But the verse the Muslim always use for us is here, the one number 112, verse number 4. And verse and verse one to uh, one twelve one uh, verse number one. If we go here, this is a very short, short chapter. The difference between ahad in this verse and ahad in the other verses is not much, except here there's a mistake. This is why I, one of you asked me, is it the same? I said no. Why there's a mistake? You see, Muhammad he was trying to copy. What the Bible says about Ahad or Ikhad. Let me try to find you something. This is exactly what the Jews they say. O Israel, say that your Lord is one, Ikhad. But one here is not one the same as in Arabic. It is echad in the Hebrew, which means unity. Unity. How we can prove that? The oneness in unity, not in number. And there's many verses in the Bible speaking about this unity as an example in Genesis 2 chapter uh, 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 24 it says the two shall become a chad who are they, the two this is what Jesus and this is what the New Testament quote that a man and a wife when they get married they become a chad but they are two but they will become a chad so this is not about numbers, this is about unity. So when a Muslim, he quote for us from that verse, he is quoting what is he stole from the Old Testament, from the Hebrew, Echad. Ahad. And the word Echad appear in the Bible all over. This article is written, you know, like you know, you can see here how many times the word echad, how many how many chapters, how many. Here we go. I like this uh, this uh, way it's written here because it because it make it more clear. So two became one man plus a woman, Genesis two chapter twenty four. The same in the book of Deuteronomy chapter six verse number four, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And that is equal to. What is written in the New Testament, as we see. Exactly. So when the Muslim they quote that Allah is Ahad, they quote Echad, which is God is one as unity, not as one by number. Muhammad is nothing but a thief, literally, officially. So now what the difference between Ahad, Ahad, and Ahad in the verses in the Quran? In the rest of the Quran, the word Ahad, if we go here, always the word Ahad in Arabic have to come as one off. It cannot come by itself. It's impossible. 
choose any chapter okay let me show you how the word ahad appear chapter 2 verse 102 it says here, "Wama yu'allimani min ahad." Do you see it? And they never taught anyone. Ahad have to come with anyone. So it cannot be by itself. So the verse we are speaking about, chapter one, twelve, verse number one. Because it's a quotation from the Hebrew, it does not fit with the Arabic Quran. For that ahad, it is ikhad. However, it's very close in the meaning. Actually, in writing, it is identical. And all of them, they guide us that it is one off, not one alone. But in that sentence, it says unity, that say that your God is a unity, as we showed you from the Bible. So look what happened here. All over the Quran, the word Ahad appear, and you can choose any verse of those translations, and you will see you are seeing the verses number, correct? Choose any of those verses. Chapter 2, verse 1, 2, chapter 2, verse 136, chapter 2, verse 285. You know, all over all those verses you see in the front of you, it shows you the word Ahad. If you choose any of them, always the translation have to come as we like here in this example, it says. We do not differentiate between any of the Messenger of Allah. Let us read the translation, chapter 2, verse number 285, as an example. Do you see it? We do not differentiate between one and another. Do you see a translation? This is what I had been. Are we good? I hope I did answer you about your question. Guys, we have well, we have only 765. Okay, let me increase the number and get more Muslims here. At the end of this episode, we are going to give out versions. Yes, versions. We are going to import some versions who they are blonde from Las Vegas. You remember the Quran and Islam like a blonde. Muhammad he said, attack the Romans so you can get a blonde. Who is a Muslim want to get some versions? Virgin, virgin, virgin waiting for you. Call me, defend Islam, prove to us that it is wrong, and Allah will increase the number of your virgin and the size of your penis, as the Prophet said. You know, one of the things I like about Muhammad is his uh, imagination. Like when Muhammad, he says that Allah will give you an endless penis. And now we're thinking about that. Like, imagine, man. Close, close your eyes. Only men, please, not women. You are a man who live in New York and your penis right now is in China and it's still going. And you receive a phone call from the Chinese authority. Translation. Can you, for the sake of Allah, move your penis? It's a black in the train station and the highway. And causing a lot of incident? I mean, that's deep. That must be from God. Only God, the true God, can promise us endless penis. Fake gods cannot do that. Hey, Abdul, by the way, your wife, your wife, she is sitting next to you in the couch. Yes, Mima, what do you want? I came here to defend Islam. Oh, no. I swear by Allah. Okay. I swear by Allah hmm. that God is one, not three. Do you agree or not? We don't believe in three God. Who is the one who told you that? He must be stupid. Is that Muhammad? My my imams told me that uh, 
Christians worship three gods. Is that, isn't well, that here true? We, here, let, me, let me show you that your imam is a donkey, a certified one. Because the Quran says that the Christian uh, believe. Hold on, hold on. Did you did you did you did you, did you, did you want me to answer you or not? But I want to talk. Wait, to wait, you wait, you are the one who said to your imam. He said to you, "Well, your imam is donkey. Let me give him a certification." Because the Quran. Okay. 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 Let's see what the Quran says. Here we go. The Quran says. That those who say that Allah is the Messiah, you know, they are kuffar, and this is exist in two chapter in the Quran, chapter five verse seventeen and chapter five verse number seventy two. Which one you want me to read for you? So what are you gonna show me? I, I'm showing you Quran, chapter five verse seventeen, chapter five seventy one. Which one you like me? Pick up the number. Pick up a number. Yeah, but uh, I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you that. You I want to show you that your Imam, who said to you that we believe in three gods, is a certified donkey. Pick up a number. Um, I, 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 I don't see this. Uh, but, but, wait, wait, okay, okay. Which one you want? Chapter five seventeen, five seventy two. Which one? I don't know the numbers. Wait. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me. Hmm. Wait, let me let, let me uh, see uh, the screen again. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I see it's moving? Hmm. 517 yeah which one you want 17 or 72 why do you want me to choose you choose you're gonna tell me something it doesn't matter I'm, I'm giving you a choice to like which which a bullet you like the bullet the, the the big bullet the small bullet which one uh, okay the, uh, the second one five second seven, one? Two. okay here we go yeah. second one so here we go it says okay. that the Christian believe that Christ he is Allah himself not second Allah, not third Allah. So why you are lying and mm -hmm. your Imam is lying? The, the lying about what? Because you said to me that the Christians, your Imam told you that the Christian believe in three gods. When your Quran saying the Christian believe that Allah and Jesus is one. Okay, can you tell me the truth? Abdul, what, what, don't, what, change don't change the topic. Don't change topic. Why your Imam did lie yeah. to you, and why you are a fool? You don't even read your Quran. If your Quran saying to you that the Christian believe that Christ Himself is Allah Himself. Which means there is no second God, there's no third God, there's no fourth God. They believe that He is the only God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so did the Christians Quran make a God. did the Quran make a mistake? You think the, about um, if if Christians worship three gods or one? Maybe. Well, the Quran says that the Christians believe in one God and He is the Messiah. He is Allah, not He is mm. a second God beside Allah. This is what the Quran is saying. Yeah, but the Quran also says that um, Christians worship three. No, it doesn't say that. Yes, it does. Okay, that's mean, me okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did he say the Quran says the Quran says also they worship three? Did you say that? Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to type it in the screen because in in two minutes you will change your mind. So guys, the Quran says that the Christian they worship three, and the Quran here says that Jesus is Allah. Who is the three? Count them for me. Who's the th who's the three? Mm. Who are the three? It doesn't say the three is something. It doesn't tell us. No, no, no. Don't tell me. That. No, 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 no. Show me what is the three the Christians believe in, based on what you told me that the Quran says so. Based on the Quran, yeah. It does not specify. It doesn't specify. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait, what do you mean? It, it tells mean? us uh, that. No, the Quran. Uh, <coughs> no, the Quran is specified. The Quran is specified. Why are you are lying? No, it does not say the Trinity okay. is this is it. Okay, let me, it does. let me get it you. Tells us Hold that. on, let me get you busted. Hold on, okay, here we go. No, you cannot bust me. No, 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 hold on. True, true, what a true. Hmm. But, but anyway, okay, are you okay, going to okay. tell no, me what No, 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 hold on. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. No, I'm not changing. I can't. All right. Because I want to know if my imams are telling me the truth or not. This is the Quran saying that. Okay, hold on, let us see. Uh, but, but wait uh, wait no why wait, you also why are you changing wait. also no, i'm not a changing I, I thought, my friend uh, I, I, I thought i thought you were i thought you were talking about um <laughs> god is the christ and now when i showed you it, it says three you now you're changing anything. you're saying you know you, you don't show me anything my friend isn't it the quran says that allah he said to jesus did you tell your people to worship me and my mother why why are you moving from point to point i'm not moving the it's you you know you said to me the quran did not specify the trinity why you are lying did the Quran says Allah 
that he said to Jesus, why did you tell your people to worship mm -hmm. me and my mother beside Allah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, you, yes you're no? jumping like a, uh, you I'm jumped asking like a monkey. You, is that, that what you use? I'm asking you, did the Quran say that or no? I will, I will answer your questions. Let me just make my point. Okay? Listen, no, you need to answer me. No, don't change the topic. Because will, we are talking about we, we are let, talk, we are talking about the Trinity. Did let Allah did Allah say that to Jesus? Yes or no? Let me speak. Let mm. me speak. Mm. Are you gonna let me speak? Yeah, I wanted to answer, not only to speak. I'm not interested. Okay, in, in your I, I will. I will. In, I will speak. In, and then chapter I'll answer five, you. in chapter five, verse one sixteen, Allah He says that He said to Isa, not to Jesus. <laughs> Aren't you the are you the one who said to them to worship me and my mother as gods beside Allah? Yes or no? Do you agree with that? You have to be fair with me if you if you want to be honest, you have fair. To speak. You are the one who mentioned this verse, my friend, not me. You are the one who said to me the Quran says in different verse the Trinity. Here we go. This is the Trinity. Mm -hmm. So here we go now. Allah is speaking about the <clears> Trinity. <throat> what is the Trinity according to your God? Okay, I will speak for 20 seconds only, and then I'll answer you. Is that fine? No, I want you to answer me and speak 20 minutes. 20 seconds, just 20 no, seconds. Speak 20 minutes, but answer me. Don't give me speeches. 10 okay. seconds, 10 seconds. I want you to answer me. Is it a true? 10 seconds. Is it true? 10 seconds, I didn't answer. Is, you. is it a true that your God Allah is saying? I, I just Mary, 10 seconds. Mary and Jesus and Allah is a trinity in this verse. 10 yes. seconds. Yes or no? Christians are gracious. You're going you're gonna to give me 10 seconds. I will not give you any second unless you answer. I will uh, answer it when I, when I speak, when I hear. Uh, when no, I make if a, you don't, uh, one if, you don't want, if you don't want me to to, to just uh, let you go, you, you know you have to be a man. Either you're an adult or you're a kid. No, you have to. You be are a the man. one. You are the one who mentioned this verse. I want you to to be consistent, please. Respect yourself. I, I are you going I to answer you. or not? Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to waste my time? Are you here just to say blah 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 blah? Why the will, Quran? Will, Why the Quran? Is it the Quran saying in this verse that you Muslims believe as Allah believe? That the Christians believe that Mary is God, Jesus is God, and Allah is God. Yes or no? Before I say yes or no, I, let me say something. No, you have to me? give me the answer. I'm not interested in saying yeah, something. Yeah, if I, I give want, you the answer, you're gonna I jump. I want the phone. answer. I want the you're answer. You're gonna jump. That's what you, you do. See, That's I'm, what you I'm do. losing my patience with you. You are a kid. You are not respecting yourself. Be a man. Come on. You are the one who opened the topic. Focus. It, so if I answer you, uh, do you you're agree with all, to Do you agree point. with Allah or you don't? Do you agree with Allah or you don't? So if I say something, you're gonna jump like that. You're do you agree with speak. Allah or you don't? Are you gonna let me speak? I'm waiting for you to answer. Are you gonna let me speak? Okay, you're asking me to hang up on you. Sorry. Uh, uh, get lost. Get lost. Don't call me again. I see. I I'm, want. I'm not, I'm, I want a man to talk to me, not a kid. If you mention a topic, a you stay with it. You are the one who said to me in every verse in the Quran to speak about the Trinity. So I am now showing you the verse which you yourself asked me to read, and now you don't want to read it. Why Allah saying that Allah believe that the Christians believe that Jesus may say that worship me and my mother beside Allah? Why he said that mm -hmm. to them? You, you, just, you just realized that this verse exists because in the beginning you said uh, the Quran says only one God, only Jesus Christ. When I, when well, I yeah, showed you this, because here I'm, I'm going to show you a mistake. There's a stupid mistake here, ah, don't you see? Yeah, ah, because in one verse, so, okay, shut so up, shut up, shut up. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Huh? And listen to me what I will say, and I will make you die laughing at your stupid prophet. Just watch. Guys, in this verse, the Quran confirmed that there's a three. Here the translation, by the way, is not accurate. There's the three gods. Allah, Mary, and Jesus. In the other verse, there's one God missing. Because if we say okay here did not mention Mary but here it says that Christ himself is Allah then who is the Trinity because remember if Christ is Allah and then Mary is the second who is the third are we following guys are we following the other verse saying that the Christians believe Allah is saying to Jesus, Did you ask them to worship me beside you know, me and my mother beside Allah? Okay, okay, no problem. But here it says that the Christian believe that Christ Himself is Allah. This is the last time you call me. If you don't answer, I will block you. Go ahead. Make up your mind. Does the Quran say you worship are you, one or three? Are you no, the Quran never say Make worship. Your, your God, your God Allah doesn't even exist. You will answer or not. Does the, does the Quran say Christian get lost? 
We showed you the verse, your donkey, that your prophet, he said, worship Echad, your God is Echad, how he can be one. The only one to be is the Trinity. Echad. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. You Muslims, following a thief, his name is Muhammad. The Quran did not use the word Wahid here. He used the word Echad, which is coming from the Old Testament and the New Testament and from the Hebrew. The word Tawheed, even the word which the Muslim they use, is not even existed in the Quran, not even in the Hadith. Tawheed means unification. Anyone speak Arabic, you can ask him. Tawheed al-Dawal al-Arabiyya, unification of the Arabian states. <laughs> الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية the unified United States United States you say you say United right this is this is this is توحيد United this is توحيد we are the Arab Christians we are the one who taught you Arabic the best of the Arab poetry in the history of Arabia is made by Arab Christians and you are no match And here we notice a stupid mistake. One verse saying that Jesus is Allah for the Christians. The other verse saying that Jesus is just second God beside Allah. Which one of them is the true? Hmm? Any Abdul? Who is next? Don't call me, kid. It's time to block you. Maybe tomorrow I will open for you the. Can't we find one Muslim man to call us? Why are we getting kids? We worship one God. We worship one God. Who is your God? You don't know. We worship one God. One God. Your God have a shape. Your God have a shin. Your God have a leg. Your God has a nose. Your God has a foot. Your God have five fingers. But who is your God? Only knows, Mister. No, I do not know. They have no idea who is their God. They are copy paste, but none of them knows they are worshiping who. Uh, are we having a good time, guys? Who in here is not having a good time? Uh, come on. Who of you is not having a good time? If you are not having a good time, I am going to invoke the curse of Allah on you. And guess what? The Muslim, they have a curse on Allah on me. And this is why I never visit hospitals for many years. You know, once I was in the army. My boss, he said to me, like, come on. I mean, I'm looking at your file. You don't have medic medical history. You don't have even driving ticket. Are you sure you're alive? <laughs> I have no medical history. I have no traffic history. I have nothing. I mean, like, do something. The Muslim, they curse me every day. I am a person who can carry a refrigerator by myself after your curse. Thank you, Lord. You curse me? Your curse is not working. They curse me for many, many, many years. And one day Christian prince will die, he will say, see, our curse woke. <laughs> too late, my friend, too late after I destroy Islam. Oh, boy. Actually, once a Muslim, he opened a chat room. His name is a, uh, a Muslim knight. He opened a chat room in Paltok, and they invite the Muslims from everywhere. Cursing night, cursing, cursing, cursing party. 
Christian Prince, Allah may kill you. And the Muslim, they say, Ameen. May Allah destroy you. Ameen. May Allah burn you. Ameen. Blah, 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 blah. 24 hours after the guy who organized the party, he have a heart attack. And as I heard that he is dead already. I'm not sure, but I never saw him since then. They told me that the guy, all the Muslims are upset because he is in, in, the, in, the, in the, uh, uh, the special care unit. He have a very tough heart attack. Less than 24 hours after. By the way, guys, tomorrow I will do a live broadcast to Brother Amir from Germany. Uh, we, we will do it around 1 o'clock my time, which means the same as I started today. All right? I started 2 hours and 17 minutes ago. So if you are interested, be with us tomorrow. Which means I will do broadcast here. At the same time, he will be talking to you. That's all. He will do broadcast in the Facebook. I will be still here in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And don't forget to tell your friends about what we do and who we are. We are the nightmare of Allah, who have no idea who is he. A fake pagan god, black stone worshippers, kissers, You ask a Muslim, and I, this is what happened to me. You know, I went to a Muslim website, and they have a chat, like they help you to convert, convert to Islam. So I said to them, I, I, I have a question. I, I want to know why the Prophet he kissed the black stone. They said, well, because it's holy. I said, okay, that's wonderful. And why it's holy? The guy he like he was mute for like two minutes. The silence. He don't touch it. Type anything. He said because the Prophet kissed it. <laughs> So why you kiss the black stone because it's holy and why it's holy because the prophet kissed it Okay, why the prophet kissed it because it's holy Okay, okay, but why it's holy because the prophet kissed it. I mean come on. Are you slow or what? Is it obvious? What's wrong with you? You Christians are not smart. I'm telling you why I just told you why but, but no. He kiss it because it's holy. Okay. Uh, but why it's holy? Because he kiss it. What's wrong with you? And a smart Muslim, he come better with a better idea. Because it's a stone coming from heaven. Do you know how many stones fell down every day from the space on this earth? So what if it's a stone coming from heaven? What does that mean? What if Allah he sent you a donkey? <coughs> donkey, you are from heaven. You are so cute. You kiss his ass. Hmm? What do you mean we want Zakir Naik here? Zakir Naik is always with us. Okay, Zakir Naik, he have a message for you. Brother Fetter, all Muslims in the chat room, please leave immediately. This person, Christian Prince, if you listen to him, you will leave Islam. In the Quran, chapter 5, verse 101, it says, Ask not question. Because if you ask question in verse 102, it says, You will leave Islam. Thank you very much. This is a fast message from the from, from Dr. Zakir Naik. Ask no questions, chapter 5, verse 101. Don't ask questions. Quran says that. What do you mean uh, bring Zakir Naik here? He is here. The only one is not here is Allah. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay longer. I hope you guys you have a good time together today. Tomorrow we will be here in the same time as today we started at 1 o'clock New York time. I don't know what is the time will be for your location, depend on your location. So you can measure it, which means two hours behind, two hours and 21 minutes. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope the Muslims, they will listen and they will learn and they will denounce Islam. We don't hate you Muslims. Truly, truly, we don't. My Lord, he taught me to love everybody. And based on love, I'm showing you the truth not based on hate your god is false god violence is evil hate is evil follow jesus because this is the only one who can unite us with love 
Imagine if the whole world practiced what Jesus said. We will not find somebody shooting in the Christmas street, shooting Muslim or Christians. We will not find that. You will not find an Arab Christian taking a gun and shooting Muslims in Middle East saying Allahu Akbar. Otherwise, we can do that. We are by millions there. Why we don't do it? You are a minority in the West. We are a minority in the Middle East. But we are very peaceful, loving people. Why? We are Arab still. But because Christ, he made us peaceful. We are not cowards. Killing is not an act of a brave man, especially killing women and children and people walking in the street. This is an act of cowardice. This is an act of a scumbag. We don't do that if I see a Muslim he needed my protection I'll protect him if I see a Muslim woman walking in the street alone and somebody tried to do something to her I will defend her with my life for I am a Christian and he made me a prince so all of us we are prince and princes for we are children of God this is why Jesus said, when you pray, you say, Our Father. Hello? Hi, CP. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, so um, I've shared your link to my uh, Muslim friends in Indonesia. I live in the U.S. All right. And I'm also Indonesian, but some of my friends in indonesia um i've been reading your um your links because i i shared them with them and then they said that you're not you don't have a credible source can all, you please all the source i'm showing in the screen this is not a credible source <laughs> i'm sorry is all the source i'm showing in the screen from their quran from their website this is not this is not a credible source <laughs> right that's what i told them because I, I told them that you're telling the truth because hmm. I'm also a Christian, but they're not, they don't believe me. Yeah, tell them right away. Isn't yeah. he showing you in the screen? He they, are, you the they are actually they're there in the live chat right now. So I know, but I mean, how they can say that? I want you to be honest with himself. I am showing you right now in front of you on the screen. Name for me one thing I said is not true. And but, challenge me yeah. to show it to you and give you the proof. Here we go. I never say something. Everybody knows. I never say something unless I show it in the screen. That's so, right. So they're, just, they're just too coward to call you. That's why it's not they only too coward. They are, they, are, they are being in denial because the truth hurt. This is what I noticed about Muslims. You see, That's I, don't, right. I don't want to say maybe they are good people. Maybe they are wonderful people. Maybe they are decent people. But in the same time, it's not easy. Put yourself in their shoes. They see that this guy is, is getting Islam busted badly. And he's showing us in the screen everything. He is not making things up. You see, the website I'm showing right now, this is Quran wow.com this is islamic website everything i okay. show is not from me like here we go i show you ibn kathir i show you a tabari i show you al qurtubi i show you a jalalain what is that not authentic source i show you al bukhari i show you sahih muslim so how you can say such a thing but this is an excuse so they do not know what to say to you mm -hmm. what we will say to you i mean okay it's not where 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 name for me right now if they are listening and they are in the chat can you please right. people from indonesia with my love to you and you are a Muslim can you show me one thing I said is not true open yeah. challenge who is the Muslim want to show me one thing I said and it did not even show the reference in front of your eyes yes that's true I hope they're listening to this because I don't know what to tell them anymore because you're speaking the truth well you know don't give up first of all never give up you see and uh, 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 let me tell you the good news Muslims when they say uh, what they say doesn't mean they don't accept what I say this mm -hmm. is very normal like it's like somebody suddenly you shower him with very cold water and he start like shivering <laughs> you know so they yeah. shiver they shiver from the truth and the only way to 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 escape it is to say is not a true because that mean I was a fool for all my life worshiping a false God this is stupid I cannot believe that and by saying they don't accept what I am showing in the screen it's mean they are saying we don't accept Islam because this is Islam as you see yeah, they're still in denial. Yeah, but but they, but they are they are in the right way actually. They are in the right mm -hmm. track. They are leaving Islam, but they do not notice it, because they by denying what we show, they are denying Islam. This is Islam. The one who's saying this verse in the green in front of me is Allah. The one who's saying the Hadith is Muhammad. 
the one we are quoting is not Christian Prince. Christian Prince is not quoting him his own words. He's quoting mm. your own prophet words. He's your own God. Word. So how you can say this is not authentic? The yes. only solution is that you know that this is the truth. I'm showing you the reference, and you can check it out. And we challenge them to show us one thing I say is not true. Just one. Who want to do it? Who want to be my hero? Yeah. Very free. Thank you, my my sister. Thank, for thank you, CP. Uh, please keep telling the truth. I really love your your channel. Thank you, my dear sister. May the Lord. Thank bless you. God you. bless you. And my love to all Indonesian because I know a lot of Indonesian people. They are, they are learning, and uh, uh, I hope that we will have a very beautiful Indonesia soon coming to Christ by millions, millions, Amen. millions. Thank you. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Bye. Yeah, take care. When they say we don't accept this, it means they say we don't accept Islam. As simple as that. It's not they don't accept Christian Prince. I am not the one saying this. It is your God. The problem is that there is no Muslim can fight me for I am using your own reference. They are not used to this. They are used to a Christian. He go and quote for them from the Bible. Let me read for you from the book of Mark. Let me read for you from the book of John. It doesn't affect the Muslims because simply they've been told lies about the Bible. So they won't even listen. But what I do, it does hurt. This guy is muting us from our book. Our God, our prophet, our religion, our, our angels, they cannot refute him. They cannot answer him because he is using our books. And I am victorious by the name of my Lord. Many of you might think that Christian Prince is a proud of himself. Absolutely not. I'm proud to be Christian Prince. Christian Prince. Because I am a Christian, and because I'm a Christian, I am his Prince. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? If your God is a true, let him refute me. Why your God is a mute? Where is your Muslim scholars? Why they don't dare to call me? Because they knew they will lose their career. Wherever I go, the Muslim scattered everywhere. Shabir Ali, he ran away. Zakir Naik, he ran away. And Adam, not going to mention the rest of the kids. They are just kids. But even the kids, they don't dare. They want to debate only someone who do not know Arabic, he do not know much about Islam, someone he have a blue eyes, someone he speak English only, someone we can make fun of him says, oh, this is coming. I know this is coming. You do not know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic. <laughs> and then he do poo-poo. And then he do poo-poo. He speak Hebrew and he speak Hebrew and he speak Arabic. And then we find that he have no idea what the Hebrew and he have no idea what Arabic is saying. Elijah means God is with us and Allah pray for not to. Well, thank you very much. And then they make a mockery if a Christian person is nice. They cannot do that to me. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. Like an act, you know, like an act, like an actor in the stage. You know, a kid. A teenage. I want a Muslim to call me and say, show me. Silence me. Answer me. Who want to do that to me? You don't dare. You don't dare. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Again, if you like to learn more, you can read my books. You can get them from Amazon.com.de, France, etc. There are many languages. And soon, actually, we will have a book which is in the language of the Malay. I think the Indonesian, they understand it, is going to be out, I hope, before the Christmas. And today, I'm going to work in it. Uh, you know, the book is ready. I'm just trying to prepare the Arabic text because usually when you make it in Kindle, Kindle damage the Arabic text. So I'm trying to make it as images so we can publish it soon. So until we see you tomorrow, as I said, at 1 p.m. New York time, which will mean three hours and a half behind from this time. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord.
and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.